Hello, Elena. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. How are you today? Uh, today I feel good, <laughs> but today I I wake wake up with some cough, 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 cough. Some cough. Ah, it's like a yes. some cough. Okay, Anita. But um, for sure, for sure, Anita, something that is going to help you is going to drink some. Some tea, you no? Know, some lemon tea. I don't know. Yes, lemon tea, and uh, um, later I, I, I will, I will drink, I will drink um, I can't say it. Miel with lemon. Ah, lemon. honey, oh, honey so with lemon. lemon, honey with lemon. Honey. Yes, that that is something very good. I mean, I tell me, how was your day yesterday? Finally, yesterday. Good. It was a busy day, busy, a busy day. day. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, I was, good. I was working. Good. And, este, uh, yes, I was working. Really, I don't, I didn't okay. start with my homework. <laughs> okay. What time did you finish working yesterday? Um, maybe, maybe 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Very good. Uh -huh. And later, Anita, what do you do? Later, later, no, late, later. I I was cleaning the house and and prepare some food okay. for today. So you were also busy, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. Later, and you didn't have time you know, to watch a movie or to read a book, something like that. At, at night, este, I yeah. I was. I was seeing, see me? I was watching, I was watching. Watching, I was yes. watching a movie, an action okay. movie, but I, I had, I... I said, me quedé dormida, no? Uh -huh. It's like, how is it? I, me quedé dormido. I fell, very good, I fell asleep, I fell asleep, very good. And what movie was it? <clears throat> What movie? It it yes. was este John Wick. Ah, uh, I have seen that for that movie. There are many. I mean, there are many John Wick movies, right? From John Wick one until now. What what number? What number is it? The the latest one. Uh, I believe that the last is the fourth. Four, John Wick four. four. Okay. Uh -huh. John Wick okay. Four. And, and what are the movies about? It's about este bueno él es que es he he is a qué no es agente he is he is a pero este no me acuerdo no no recuerdo si es agente no es agente He's, he's a, a, a gangster, a hitman, a remember a hitman, hitman, sicario, a robber. Como que he, he was in, in tra training. He was trained. He was trained Good. in in, a, in some agency. agency. Okay. Este, before. Before, ah, okay, before. Okay. Well, he, is he, he is, yes. He is good, good uh, in las peleas, de peleando. Ah, he's good, good at fighting. He's good at fighting. At fighting. Good. Ah, okay. okay. Well, um, is he a good character or is he a bad character? He's a good character. He is good. He is well person. He's a good uh -huh. person. A good, a good person. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, because um, me, I have a, a nephew, and he is fan of those movies. And he has told me, no, you should watch the movies, Miguel. They, they are amazing. But I have never seen any of them, okay? I have never watched okay. any of them. Ah, okay, that's very good. Good. And what about today? What is your day going to be like today, Rita? Today is Monday. 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 Monday.
today I I I I will try to, well I need to start with my homework. Exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. And exactly. Uh, to my object. But yes, my, my object ob is objective, my objective, objective or my goal. My goal is finish my first homework today. All right. Very good. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. So listen. Um, before we start, let's let's remember. Okay. Let's um, remember a topic. Okay. Okay. Look at this here. And let me paste it here on the board. Okay. It's too small. Let me make it bigger. Okay. Okay. This one there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to share the board with you okay take this there okay so so remember yesterday Danita, yesterday we, we were checking your activities on recreo right <laughs> so there is this topic had better how to might want to and would rather okay so let's read the start from there, okay? So this one, had better, I would do my one too, and would rather. All of them, Anita, are used to give advice or suggestions, okay? The purpose of them are, are to provide or to give advice or suggestions. For example, let's start with auto. I mean, auto. Auto, Anita, is similar to shoot. Okay. It's the same as should. And this one is used to give advice. Okay, to tell advice. For example, you can say, you should go to the doctor. You, you should go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor. Okay, he, for example, he, he should work harder. Okay. Or, or you can say that you ought to, you ought to go to the doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. He should work harder. He ought to work harder. The only difference is that ought to needs a preposition to. And should doesn't use or doesn't need any preposition. Okay. Negative, for example. Negative is you shouldn't, you shouldn't and will eat too much. No? Or they shouldn't, they shouldn't arrive so late. Okay. With auto negative, you ought not to eat too much. You ought not eat to eat too much. Okay. They ought not to arrive so late. Okay. So it's exactly the same, okay? But the difference is that, as I said before, Auto needs a preposition in order to combine with other verbs, but the meaning is the same. Okay. There is there is one special use for a shoulder in it. Is this one okay? Look at this. I will hear a special. Look at this. A special use of should. And this is used for data for probability. Okay. For example, look at this. For example, you can say, I'm going to the airport or I'm going to, to my mother's house. No? Okay. And there's a in the east. Ah, should you see that? Tell him. I'm okay. Okay. 
Tenemos aquí la, la persona A, por ejemplo, la persona A dice esto. ¿no? I'm going to my mother's house. Y la persona B te dice eso. You should see that. Tell him I'm okay. ¿Qué es eso? Should you see? Okay. Es si de casualidad ves a papá, dile que estoy bien. Fíjate, ¿eh? should you see? No es una pregunta, es otra cuestión. Y yo es a sentence, ok, to speak about probability. Ok. Por ejemplo, Anita, vaya, ok. Person A te dice, I'm going to the mall tonight. Okay. Entonces, tú le dices a la persona, ah, ok. Should you see any new product? Buy it. For me. La persona A te dice, I'm going to the mall tonight. Entonces tú le dices, ah, should you see any new product? Buy it for me. Ah, si de casualidad ves algún producto nuevo, cómpralo para mí. Pero es que si es probabilidad, no es seguro que la acción se realice, pero es otro uso de should. Y en ese sentido, es muy diferente. Auto en este sentido no se puede utilizar. Okay. Eso es solamente para shoot. Okay. Eso es, así sería, sonaría como si de casualidad. Si de casualidad ves o, o no sé, por ejemplo, y should you, porque aquí vamos a cambiarlo, should you find, si de casualidad encuentras algún producto nuevo, cómpralo para mí. Pero esa, esa es la regla, fíjate, should you or should he, ok, por ejemplo, te puedes decir, por ejemplo, vamos con, con he, por ejemplo, pues vamos a hacer Mario. Mario is going to the theater tomorrow. Okay. Ah, entonces, eso te dice la persona, te dice, Mario is going to the theater tomorrow. Entonces tú dices, ah, should you, okay, should you, or should he, okay, Should he arrive early? Okay. Tell him I'm joining him at the theater. Okay. Dice Mario va al teatro mañana. Va a ir al teatro mañana. Entonces tú dices, ah, should he arrive early? Si de casualidad él llega temprano. Okay. Dile que voy, que me voy a unir con él al teatro. Es decir, no solamente okay. puede con Shuyu, ¿ok? Uh. Pero sí también puede quedar con, con he, ¿ok? Should he. Exactamente, ¿ok? So, that is for should, ¿ok? Pero recuerda, recuerda en ese sentido, solamente should. Aquí en ese uh -huh. sentido no se puede utilizar out. ¿Ok? Aquí es lo que te dice, como had better. This one, Anita, it means hard weather. Hard weather is also for suggestion. Okay. For example, hard weather is in Spanish, is sería mejor. For example, you had better study for the exam. Okay, you had better study for the exam. O puede ser contraído, puede ser con la contracción. You'd, you'd better study for the exam. Y es lo mismo. Okay. Or con he, for example, he had better okay, go to the doctor. Sería mejor, que, sería mejor que él fuera al doctor. Or contraction. He'd better... Go to the, to the doctor. Okay. And okay. Gonna, uh, okay, we just write one example, please, with, uh, with uh, for example, um, with chi, for example. How will okay. you say one example using chi? Okay. It's the... okay. She 
has breathed. Uh, drink more water. Okay, very good. She had better, okay. Drink more water, okay. Very good. Very good, okay. Let me see. Very good. Let me see it again. Okay. Negative data. Super easy. Super easy, for example. You had better study for the exam. You can say, for example, You had better not study not. for the exam, okay? Or also in the contraction, you can say, for example, you'd better not study okay, for the exam. Exactly. And the same for he, and the same for she, for example, he had better, he had better not, he had better not go to the doctor. Okay. Or, or he had better not go to the doctor. Okay, if you please write your sentence in negative, please. She has yes. drink more water, okay? Yes. She, she had better not drink more water. Very good. Exactly, very good. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So remember, that had that is for suggestion, okay? That is, sería mejor, okay? And let's see the next one, which is... Um, my one to this way. My one to okay, look at this. My one to also the one is to make uh, suggestions. Okay, that in Spanish, Anita, my one to is um, tu podrías querer, bueno, podrías querer, se te podría antojar, for example. For example, if you go to Paris, okay, you might want to visit okay, the Eiffel Tower. Okay. For example, um, for example, at the school, okay, at the school, okay, you might want to eat something okay at the cafeteria okay so if si vas a parís se te podría antojar o podrías querer visitar la torre Eiffel. en la escuela se te podría antojar o podrías querer comer algo en la cafetería okay mm -hmm. or with I don't know, with any person for example with him for example he might want to fly okay from Mexico City, from Mexico City to Colombia. Okay. Ahí se le podría antojar, se le podría querer viajar o volar de México a Colombia. Negativo, sí. negativo. You, you might not want to visit okay, that building at night. Tú no podrías querer o no se te antojará visitar ese edificio en la noche. O with uh, she, for example. She might not want to cook Mexican food. Okay. She might not want to cook Mexican food. Ella podría no querer cocinar eh, comida mexicana. So that's also for my one two suggestions, okay? Okay, look at this, Anita. For uh, un rather, okay? Un rather is super easy, Anita. Un rather is to speak about preference, okay? Un rather, okay? this one is for preference. For example, you can say, for example, 
I would rather stay home to go out. ¿Qué dice ahí? Yo preferiría quedarme en casa que salir. Okay. Or will she, for example, she would rather cook to order food. Ella preferiría cocinar que ordenar comida. Negative, super easy, for example. I would rather okay, visit that city. Yo preferiría no visitar esa ciudad. Or with he, for example, he wouldn't rather okay, stay so late okay, in that house. Él preferiría no quedarse tan tarde en esa casa. Okay. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. please say that write one example with uh, affirmative and then one example with negative, please. Okay. Este. An, an example, okay? Sí. A ver, I would, I would, I would rather, yo preferiría, I would rather, este, yo preferiría, Period. I would rather eh, play play eh, volleyball. Very good. I would rather play volleyball. Eh, ahí tengo que poner un otro. Otro. Oh, pues, I would rather play volleyball today, for example. Que puede, puede ser, yo preferiría jugar volleyball hoy. No, it, okay. it, it, it is also perfectly correct. Okay. Bueno, y luego, I would rather, Very good. este, go out, salir in Tuesday. No sé. I would rather go out on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, exactly. I would rather go out on Tuesday. Y bueno, la, la T mayúscula. Always, days, start with capital letter, okay? Always, okay? I would rather go out on Tuesday. Very good. Exactly. Anita. So here, Anita. Ah, for example, a question from here, you can say, for example, what, what would you rather do today? Okay. What would you rather do today? ¿Qué preferiría hacer hoy? What would you rather do today? Okay. And then I would rather play volleyball today. Okay. Here. Question with might want to. Here, Camille. What might you want to do today? No. ¿Qué preferirías hacer hoy? ¿Qué ¿Se te antojaría o qué se te antoja hacer hoy? Ok. Had better. Ok. What had I better do? Ok. ¿Qué sería mejor hacer? Que yo hiciera. ¿Qué sería mejor que yo haga? Okay. Very good. We should supervise. Ok, for example, you already know. What should I do? Or, or with O2, what would I do? What ought I to do? What should I do or what ought I to do? Mm -hmm. okay. Here, any question with these um, words, with these verbs to express advice and or suggestions? No, any questions. No. So only remember the, the expression I use for should, okay? Okay. Should you see? Should you should hear right early? Si de casualidad ves, si de casualidad encuentras, si de, de casualidad él llega temprano. Okay. And remember, it's like a question, but we don't, it's not really a question because we don't have a question mark here, okay? 
Okay, it's used like a normal sentence, but with this is a special use for probability. Okay, for okay. sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let, let's practice. Okay, this one. I prepared this one for you. Okay, here it says. It says yet. Let's practice yet and already. It says yet means so far. It is using negative and question. For example, she hasn't called yet. Ella no ha llamado aún. Has she has seen a call yet? Has she called yet? Ha llamado Shen? Ha llamado Shen? O aún ha llamado Shen? Already means by this time or previously. It is using affirmative statements and questions. For example, they have already left. Ellos ya se fueron. O have they already left? Ellos ya se han ido. Okay. So again, it's a complete the following sentence with yet or already as required by meaning. Okay, please, I, I will read, okay? The smart hasn't called us yet. They have made the check. Is it time for us to leave? No, no, not, okay? Sal has bought the tickets for the game. We have signed the contract. We have been to Mexico three times. But you haven't been to Tosco yet. Bueno, aquí ya está ya, okay? Yet. Has Jim gotten his new car? Has the meeting begun? No, not, okay? Have the police found the thief? Fíjate, gente, aquí, fíjate, fíjate, ese, eh? The police, fíjate. Ese, gente, aquí es importante esto, the police. Fíjate, ¿qué, qué verbo utilizan? Have. No utilizan has. has. Why? Because in English, ahorita, the police is plural. That's okay. why they use have. En México se llama, ah, la policía, la policía ha llegado, ¿no? But in English, uh -huh. it's los policías. Okay, okay. So the police, that's why they use have. Have the police found a thief, okay? Then they haven't even started to look for him, okay? The plane has left the airport. I will do this one, okay? But you haven't visited Tasco here, it's obviously yet, okay? Okay. Okay, could you please do the audit, please? Yes, yeah, see. Um, they have already mailed the check. Exactly. Mailed, mailed the check. Mailed the check. Okay. Very good. Is, um, is it time for you to leave yet? Is it for, very good. Very good. Not, not yet. No, not yet. Very good, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Uh, Sal has already bought the ticket for the game. Very good. We have already signed the contract. Very good. Sign the contract. Good. Good. Yes, already, we have already been to Mexico three times. Very good. Luego, has his new car yet? Yet, very good. Has the meeting begun yet? Very good. Not, not, no, not yet. Not yet, very good. How the police found the thief? Yet, yet? Yet, very good. Ah, by the way, what is the, the thief? How do you say the thief el, in Spanish? The ladron. The ladron, exactly, very good. The ratero, no? Very good. Very good. They haven't even started to look for him. Him yet. Very good, yet. Very good. The plane has already left the airport. Very good. Okay, I will read the first and you read the second. Okay, it says, Marta hasn't called us yet. 
They have already mailed the check. Good. Is it time for us to leave yet? No, not yet. Sal has already bought the ticket for the game. Good. We have already signed the contract. We have already been to Mexico three times. Good. But you haven't been the task yet. Has Jim gotten his new car yet? Good. Has the meeting begun yet? No, not yet. Have the police found the thief yet? Good. They haven't even started to look for him yet. The plane has already left the airport. Very good. Exactly, Anita. Very good. Okay. So here, Anita, this one again. Usually, with present perfect, Anita, we use for and since. It says, for shows the length of time of the action. For example, he has worked there for six months. Él ha trabajado ahí por seis meses. Since shows the time that the action began. Since muestra el tiempo, el momento en que la acción empezó. Por ejemplo, he has worked there since February. Él ha trabajado ahí desde febrero. Okay. Also with since, Anita, is for years. For example, you can say since 2005. Okay. Um, since summer, por ejemplo, puede ser así, since summer 2023. Okay. Primero, the four is for a period of time, la, the length of the time, la duración del tiempo, for six months, I don't know, for ten years, okay, for, for a short time, for un corto tiempo, period, okay. Fede, let's for instance, change these sentences to introduce things in place of four. Then, Maybe whatever other changes are necessary. Okay, just. Todas tienen four. Y se la vamos a cambiar por cinco. Pues fíjense, we read. She has been sick. She has been sick for three days. She has been sick since Wednesday. We have been living here for three years. Sue has worked at for that film for six months. I have not seen him for several days. I have not eaten anything for two days. We have been planning this trip for a year. Interview number seven, it has been? It has been raining steadily. Steadily, steadily. Steadily Good. for eight hours. Good. I have not smoked a cigarette for two years. Good. We have been waiting for you for two hours. Very good. He has been in the hospital for almost a month. A month. Very good. Can you think that what is steadily? Steadily. 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 Yeah, no that one, Ethan. Please tell on your notebook or on one notebook. Steadily, Ethan. Constantemente. Steadily. Constantemente. Sin parar. Steadily. Steadily. Es decir, ha estado lloviendo constantemente por ocho horas. For example, I will do number one. It says, we have been living here for three months. Okay. So we can say this, okay. We have been living here since, I don't know, we have been living here for, for three years, okay. We have been living here since, okay, 2000, okay, 20... 20, okay. Uh, 21. Exactly. We have been living here since 2021. Okay. okay. When the number three, Sue has worked for that firm for six months. Sue has worked for that firm Very good. since. Eh, October. Since October, very good, yes. Very good. October. Bueno, October sería October 20... 23. 23. Very good. It, yes, it's possible, very good. Since October 2023, very good. I haven't, I have not seen him for several days. I have... 
not seen him since several days. Desde. Ay, esta no sé. Okay, I, ha, I haven't seen him, okay, since, since last, um, for example, since last Friday, desde el último viernes, o desde el viernes pasado, no, since last Friday, okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I have not eaten anything for two days. I have not. Y han eaten anything since uh, this day, this day, this day, this day, this Been, been planning this trip, okay, trip for since, a year since very good since last year very good since last year very good good it has been raining steadily for eight hours it has been Raining steadily. Very good. Since. Since. Very good. This morning. Since this morning. Very good. Or maybe the since. Dice que por ocho horas, ¿no? Since. Vamos a ponerle since 1 a.m., ¿no? Ok. Since 1 a.m., no sé. Very good. Okay. I have not smoked a cigarette for two years. I have not smoked a cigarette. Very good. Since the twenty twenty two. Very good. Since twenty twenty two. Excellent. Here okay, I am smoked. Smoked. Okay. I'm going to smoke the cigarette. Very good. Good. We have been good. waiting for you. Very good. For you since since uh, say uh, six a.m. Six a.m. Very good. Very good. He has been in the hospital for almost a month. He has been in the hospital since, since almost last month. Very good, since almost, very good. Exactly, very good, since almost. Last month, very good. Okay, I will read the first and then you will read with C's. Okay, it says she has been sick for three days. Uh, she has been sick since Wednesday. Very good. We have been living here for three years. We have been living here since 2021. Very good. Sue has worked for that firm for six months. Sue has worked, worked, worked for that six. year. Since October 2023. Very good. I have not seen him for several days. I have not seen him since last Friday. Good. I have not eaten anything for two days. I have not eaten anything since Tuesday. Very good. Tuesday. 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 We, we have been planning this trip for a year. We have been planning this trip since last year. Good. It has been raining steadily for eight hours. It has been raining steadily since 1 a.m. Very good. I have not smoked a cigarette for two years. I have not smoked a cigarette since 2022. 
Very good. We have been waiting for you for two hours. We have been waiting for you since 6 a.m. 6 a.m. A.m. Good. A.m. He has been in the hospital for almost a month. He has been in the hospital since almost last month. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So let's continue with the book. Okay. Here. Ah, okay. Okay. It's this one. I think it's very good. Okay. Here it is. This one. Okay. Uh, here. Okay. Last class, we stopped here. It says, notice the expression mm -hmm. Jack uses to ask for a favor politely. These expressions are useful in formal situations or if you are asking someone for a big favor. Find examples in the conversation. For example, I was wondering, I was wondering if you, okay, I wanted to, will it be all right? Okay, will it be okay with you if I pick it up, come back? Yes, complete the favors below with expressions from the box above. Then match each favor with an explanation. Write the letter A to F. For example, I was wondering if I could miss the next class. Okay. Yeah, give one. I was or I wanted to know if I could get help with my homework. Okay? Write me a letter of recommendation, get an extension of my, on my paper, took some more in practice test, stayed after class to talk about my colleague applications. Okay, the please. Hey, I'm applying. I'm applying for a job in a hospital. Good. I need some advice about the application essays. 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 I need a little more time to complete it. Very good. I have to retake a math test that day. Very good. I don't understand the calculus problems. Good. I want to improve my test taking skills. Improve, improve, improve. test taking, test taking, test taking. Skills, okay. For example, it says, first we have to complete with any of these expressions, okay. And then, much for example, I was wondering if I could miss the next class, the D. I have to retake, okay, a math test that day, okay. So letter D is out, okay. What is re uh, retake? Retake, volver a tomar. Volver a tomar. I have to retake a math test that day. Volver a tomar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I complete with any of them. I was wondering, okay, I was wondering if I or if you could, I wanted, will it be all right with you? Or, que se puede ser, will it be okay with you? Okay, first, con complete this, this part, okay? Very good. Uh, I keep, I keep. Uh, for, for, for number two, number two, okay. You can say, I was wondering, I was wondering if I could, I was wondering if I could get help. I could. If mm -hmm. I could get help Very good. With, my, with, with my homework, no? Very good. Sí, yo podría. Sí, pero ese, ahí sería, ¿is you? Es, uh, I was wondering, me estaba preguntando si yo pudiera obtener ayuda. Uh, obtener ayuda. Eh, sí, obtener sí. ayuda con mi tarea. tarea. Very good. Este... And that one obviously is the letter E. I don't understand the calculus, calculus problems. Calculus problems, uh -huh. I don't understand the calculus problems, no? Okay. Write me a letter of recommendation. Este. Would would it be right? 
me want, I want to, I want to. Digo, bueno, por ejemplo, the, the first part is, digo, ahorita, ¿qué? Yo lo ponía así, para, para cambiar, yo pondría en esta parte. En la primera parte yo pondría, I wanted to know, que venía ahí escribiendo, I wanted to know if you could, I wanted to know if you could, I wanted to know if you could, very good. Ah, remember that. Wanted, 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 very good. I wanted to know if you could, he said, yo quería saber si usted podría escribirme una carta de recomendación. Very good. Este. 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 I, I'm applying for a job in a very, hospital. Very good, second. I'm applying, very good, very good. Second, very good, okay. I'm applying for a job in a hospital. Very good. Great. Mm. This is get an extension on my paper. Este... No, no recuerdo que era would it be all right ah, would it be all right estaría bien ok si yo ok ah, igual, igual que ok would it be ok estaría bien con usted o contigo si yo ah, con ok with you if ah, with you would it be ok with you es, es, es igual, estaría bien contigo o con usted si yo. Eso es lo mismo. All, all right, ok. Exacto, ya se ok. Good. Ok. Pero espera, ahí. Get an extension on my paper, ¿no? Aquí me, me gustaría. Me gustaría obtener. Dime, acá. Se, se, obtener. Una extensión en mi escrito. Este. Pues es, pondría, will it be all right? Very good. Will it be all right? Will it be all right? I get an extension on my if paper. I know if I will it be all right if I could I would it will it be all right if I could get if you pudiera obtener very good excellent very good very good very good, very good, very good. My paper, my paper is... En mi tarea de escritura o en mi documento. En mi reporte también puede ser, my paper. Okay. Uh, I, I need a little more time to complete it. Very good. I need a little more time to complete it. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Luego dice, took some more practice test. Yes, very good. Este... Fíjate, te con este, mira. Fíjate lo que pasa con este. Fíjate cómo aquí le pusimos cool, mira, ¿no? En este. Le pusimos cool, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Mira aquí. Will it be all right if I... Mira el verbo. Picked it up. ¿Estaría bien si yo lo recojo? Will it be okay with you if I came back? ¿Estaría bien con usted o por usted, con usted, si yo regresara? Eh, si con, el, con esta estructura, esta, will it be, el verbo, el verbo tiene que estar en pasado simple. Why? Because it's second conditional. Ok, second conditional. That's why here, esta, mira, aquí te que pusieras cult. Will it be alright if I cult? 
Okay. Aquí el verbo ir está en pasado, mira, fíjate. Tuk. Tuk, exacto. Sí. Ahí podría ser igual, ¿no? Exactamente. Yo, vamos a cambiar de poner, poner all right, vamos a poner ok. Will it be ok? Will it be okay with you? Ah, very good. If, If I... I took some yeah. more advice. Exactamente, aquí ya está. Very good. Will it be okay with you if I took some more practice test? Very good. If they... I I have to retake a math test that day. And that one is going on. Ah, yes, that one. Exactly. No, entonces, I want to improve. improve. Exactly. My I test think. taking is que quiero mejorar mis habilidades de tomar exámenes. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Exactly, very good. Right? Look at that. Also, state. State is also in the past. Look at this. State. State, state. after class. Okay. Este. Um, este. Pues igual, ¿no? Aplicaría much, como profesional. Con, with all right, ¿no? Will it be. In... Okay. Ahí vamos a cambiar. Hay una que, que también se usa, pero no, no la incluyó en el libro. Es la siguiente. Will it be fine with you if I... Will it be fine with you if I esté bien con usted o por usted? Si yo... Very good. Will it be fine with you if I stay after class to talk about my colleagues' applications? Good. Este, um, I need some advice about the application essays. Very good. Exactly, exactly, very good. Okay, I will read the, the numbers, I mean the question, and you tell me the answer, okay? First of all, I was wondering if I could miss the next class. I have no, I, I have to retake a math test that day. I was wondering if I could get help with my homework. Um, I don't understand the calculus problems. Good. I wanted to know if you could write me a letter of recommendation. I'm applying for a job in a hospital. Good. Will it be all right if I could get an extension on my paper? I need a little more time to complete it. Very good. Will it be okay if you took some more practice test? I want to improve improve my test take, taking skills. Very good. Will it be fine with you if I stay after class to talk about my colleague applications? I need some advice about the application essays. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Good, good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So let's before we go, Anita, let's see, Anita, your Recreo activities because I think this week you have uh, activities also, some painting activities. Okay, so let's see. Very good. Ah, it's here, okay. Ah, it's stuck in there. So you, you, you need to answer the recreo, okay? We, we, we have activities from March 13 to March 15, okay? We are going to practice with the present perfect, okay? Regular verbs and irregular verbs, okay? Okay. So, so it's going to be super easy, okay? Very good, Anita. Okay. Excellent, Anita. Okay. So, homework, Anita, homework is, is going to be this, okay? This one, okay? This one. Let, let, me, let me see. This one, okay? Re, uh, it's going to be rain, reinforce, Anita. Reinforce this topic, okay? Remember the rules of how to use or, or what to use for how better how to my one to and good rather, okay? Tomorrow we're going to start an, an activity with this one, okay, in order to make sure that everything is clear. I think it's clear for you the use of yet and already. 
the use of since and for, okay, and the use of present perfect, okay? Okay, yes, teacher. And we are already in unit here. Yeah. Yeah. This is unit 10. Exactly. Unit 10. So two more units, Anita, and you will be finishing book three. Okay. okay. When we finish unit 12, we're going to have a, an exam from unit six to unit 12. But before the exam, we're going to have a general review of the topics. Okay. From unit six to unit 12. Okay. Okay. Very good. Time. Thank you, Anita, for being here today. Take care. Okay. Stay healthy, Anita. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you yes, tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.